بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على أفضل المرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين Today we speak about أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم What is the lesson for me from this ayah? أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم How I act under this ayah in my life Before I know this I must understand the meaning of this word a'udhu billahi minash shaitan rajim and why allah subhanahu wa ta'ala order me when i read a quran i just begin with a'udhu billahi minash shaitan rajim and did i need it in every time or just i need it when i read the quran the meaning of these words i seek refuge in god from the accursed shaitan when i hear أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم When I say it I must ask myself Did I seeking refuge in everything in my life or just I remember when I read the Quran I said أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم If just I make it when I read the Quran this is meaning I am busy in my word I make my word prevent me to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect even I need it in every minute in my life I need Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect me from the shaitan protect me from my soul protect me from my nafs I ask myself did I do it when my nafs or shaitan whispered to order me to do bad deed Did I say it? A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan rajim No, I don't follow you. I cannot do this. Did I say it when my nafs or my shaytan prevent me to do a good deed and I say it for him? No, I will do it. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect me from my nafs and from my shaytan. And when you say it, did you say it with trust in Allah? Or you just say it like a habit in your life. Ask yourself, why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala order me to say it before I begin to read the Quran Kareem? He ordered me to seek refuge. He ordered me to ask Allah to help, to protect me from my enemy. In the time, you make a worship for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In the time, you're very close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In the time, you have a connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He asked me to say it. He told me, say, A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan rajim Say it by your heart to make a shaytan far away from you. To concentrate it in this connection between Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you. Don't make a shaytan cut the reward. Don't make a shaitan make you busy in something else or your heart is not clean to stay to read the Quran. When you say istahada, you clean your mouth from everything bad you said before because you already prepared for self, yourself to read a pure word from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If a person wants to have a connection, a special conversation with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He must prepare himself. He must prepare his heart, his soul, his feeling, purifying and cleaning yourself from shaitan before you have this conversation. To, to be ready to read Kalam Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to, to deserve to read a Quran Kareem. This is the meaning of istaada when you read a Quran Kareem. And because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most merciful, He know we are very weak. He didn't leave us alone. He didn't leave us weak without showing us the way to make us become strong. He tell us, ask my help, you will find me. Seek help from Allah and trust in Him. Alone you cannot fight with your enemy. Because A'udhu Billahi Mishnah Rajim is kind of jihad. Jihad with your nafs, jihad with your shaitan. And you ask Allah, because you are weak, you ask Allah to protect you, 
to help you. How you fight with something you don't see it. And just remember why a shaitan is a rajim. Allah kick him from his mercy. Because his arrogance. He don't accept the truth. This is teach me never be arrogant to anyone. You must accept the truth. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always, Ya Rabb, help me to prevent this bad in my life. And subhanAllah, when you ask al-istada, if you understand the meaning, it's very difficult to raise your hand and you say, Ya Allah, I want to, you protect me. And in the same time, you disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is like you feel that you raise, you raise your hand for him and disobey him. This is prevent you to make a bad thing. When you raise your hand, how you ask protect and you disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How you ask Allah help and you disobey him. If, because you don't understand what is the meaning of al-istahadha until now. This is a, a, like a confession of any person that he is powerless in this life. Because we are very weak. We need Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect. That's how we act under istahadha. We, are, we always ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala istahadha in, in, in a different way. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala istahadha when we enter the bathroom. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala istahadha when we uh, have a whisper from the shaitan. We ask istahadha in, in, uh, when we enter the, the masjid. We ask istahadha when I begin anything. When I am angry, when I, in a different, different way, not just in the read the Quran Kareem. That's why we must make it like a habit. We are very weak. We need a protect from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect all of us, Ya Rabbil Alameen, and make us understand and reflect under every ayah in the Quran Kareem. سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك استغفرك ربي وأتوب إليك أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبد الله ورسوله والعصر إن الإنسان لفي خسر إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته